Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today I want to show you how to take apart frozen brake cylinders. These are aluminum cylinders with a steel piston in them that are common to the T-types. Now these are about a hundred bucks a piece new. They, they have been in the past. So if you can get yours apart, you can save that hundred bucks. But sometimes they're really, really corroded. For instance, I've got this one here. Now, you're just going to have to believe me that this is really corroded. This is really frozen on here. So if I take a screwdriver and a hammer and tunk at this and poke, 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 all I'm going to do is break the cap off and I'm going to be nowhere. So the way to get these guys apart is through hydraulic pressure. Sometimes that works where you take a fitting, put a grease gun into it, pump, pump the grease into here. 400 pounds or so of grease will push the piston out. I'm not going to use that method today. I'm going to use compressed air. And compressed air is only about 90 pounds here. So if I just take my compressed air and blow it into the cylinder, if the piston is loose, it's going to take off and go across the shop, hit something, dent something. That's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is it's going to leave a trail of brake fluid behind it. That's, that's the big yank. So what I'm going to do here today instead is to heat this guy up and quench him. The way to separate similar metals is through heat. The way to separate dissimilar metals is through quenching. And of course you can't quench until you heat. And today is a perfect day to do it because it's about, oh I don't know, about 100 degrees here. It's really toasty today, which is, I think today, well, it's the day the Supreme Court ruled on Obamacare, so that'll put it in perspective, but it's at the, the end of June 2012. So I'm going to take this guy, I'm going to heat him up, then I'm going to quench him. I've got a bucket of water here. Better to have a bucket of water with ice in it, because you really want to quench it. You want to get it really cold, really fast. So let me uh, fire up the torch. Can you do this with propane? Yes, but it takes a long time. Can you do it with map gas? Yes, but again, it takes a long time. Oxy, there's no substitute for oxyacetylene. If you can get it started. Oh, come on. I know I can do this. Never hold the torch in one place. Always keep it moving. And remember that as it warms up, the fluid inside is going to start to boil. Whatever's inside, it's going to start to boil and it's going to squirt out the, out the hole. You can see it smoking. You don't want to have your face in front of that hole. Now it's starting to flame up. Because what's inside here is really, really, this is really hot. The problem with aluminum is it does, gives no indication of when it's going to melt. It suddenly just melts. But I, I'm going to say that we're uh, this guy's pretty uh, this guy's pretty hot. I didn't drop it right into the bottom of my bucket because if it's too hot it's going to melt a hole right in the bottom of the bucket. So let's go ahead and try this here and uh, we're going to put this guy in here and try just a, oh look at that, look at that, huh? Okay, point made. You separate similar metals by heating them. You separate dissimilar metals by quenching them. You can't quench until you heat. You get it really hot, quench it, and then pop it apart. Now, maybe the inside of this is pitted, maybe it's ridged, maybe it's unusable. But out of four on the front, on the front brakes, maybe you can salvage three or two. And since each cylinder is relatively expensive, you can do a nice job. You can also, if it turns out that the, that the uh, spring and the plastic cup don't melt, you can go right to Napa 
in by by the uh, seven eighths cups that go inside here. You saw how you saw how hot I got that. Well, the spring is still springy. Okay, the the spring is still springy, and the plastic. The plastic cup has deformed. It most certainly has. So uh, the major suppliers, Moss, for instance, has a kit with you know the springs and and the uh, and the cups and the plastic uh, plastic supports uh, for a relatively inexpensive price. So here you go, all nice. Hey, I'm going to be in uh, Dayton, Ohio, in a couple of weeks at the Namgar event. Hope you can make it then. Maybe there's somebody calling right now to ask about it, huh? Anyway, thanks for your support. And sign up for our summer party. Here comes our summer party. Uh, our our sign-up form is online. And uh, we're looking forward to having several hundreds of MGs there. In the heyday of the University Motors MG summer party, you know, we might get 550 cars on the field. We won't have that many this year. There's a lot of other car shows going. Back in those days, there were hardly any car shows at all, let alone ecumenical MG events. But anyway, we'll still have several hundred cars. We'd love to see you there. See you later.